Hey, bud. Oh! Hello, everybody. My name is Palma. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. So today I've been reacting to the first episode of Peacemaker. So you guys in my community tab, I left a poll saying what I should react to next, and you guys voted for Peacemaker as like the second option. Well, actually, it won second place, but I said that I would, uh, if Moon Knight won, which it did, I would react to the second um, voted option, and that was Peacemaker. So, we're reacting to Peacemaker. Um, I know this is a spinoff from the oh, huh, Justice League movie. No, not just League, holy crap. Uh, Suicide Squad movie, um, the second one, which I really liked. I The second one was very, very good. I watched it on theaters. I really liked it a, a lot. And I liked Peacemaker's character. I like how kind of like, you know, skewed his morals are, but also like, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know. He has like a very weird sense of justice, which I thought made him a very interesting character. Um, but it, it's really cool though. I really like this character a lot. I think John Cena played him very, very well. So I'm really excited to see what this spin-off series has to offer, more of his character. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. Oh, I loved him. There was, he was so good. Making sure those records don't leave this building. I can't believe he survived a bullet to the throat. I'm discharging you. So I can leave? Go home. Enjoy life. Let's go back to the life of killing innocent women and children for the name of peace, brother. Hoorah! <laughs> you cool? What does that mean? Dude, can I trust you? No. no. <laughs> I don't know you, man. I'm just like, dude, leave me alone. Oh, peacemaker! Yes. You're that racist superhero! <laughs> you only kill minorities, man! <laughs> what I need to know is, on the DL, is there anybody out there looking for me? Why would he know? I'm thinking I can just go. Not your peacemaker outfit. That is so don't be he, he is that stupid. He is that stupid that he would just put on his peacemaker outfit when he's supposed to be going for prison for like murder. Yeah, yeah, he is that stupid. <laughs> Look how he's walk. <laughs> and an idiot. Yeah, look at that. Mr. Murn, who's that? What a moron, dude. Like He's acting as if he's like incognito and nobody will see him. Like, okay, guys. I mean, look, hold on. Definitely not in a costume covered in blood. <laughs> this intro is wild. I need to keep a straight face. I feel like the hardest part of this making this show is keeping a straight face the whole entire time. I have like the worst poker face on the planet. Oh, written and directed by James Gunn. Maybe that's probably why it did so well then. James Gunn has been killing it. I gotta go. Cleason Mern? Love you too. So she is working the same job. I think that's what it said, right? So she is working whatever job is with Peacemaker. What's in the bag? Oh, <laughs> he took his helmet. I'm surprised he didn't kill him, though, so. Personal improvement right there? Mm. That is an ugly trailer park. I'm sorry, it's so ugly. Why those colors? I know it's an American flag, but eee. like two primary colors in there. Yeah. Wait, is blue? A, blue's not a primary color. It's a secondary color, right? I'm conflicted. I'm not really conflicted, but I am conflicted. I think he's like a very funny character, and I really like his character. But also, I hate what he did to. Uh, uh, was it Bloodsport? Is that what that guy's name? Like, the guy he killed who was trying to, like, stop him from, like, uh, sending those files out to the press? Like, yeah. I hate what he did to him. He was, he, he sucked, dude. He's literally just Amanda's dog the whole entire time for, like, no reason other than some, like, twisted nonsense on, like, peace from, they got from his father. Yo, man, it's Vigilante. What up? Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to go out on a team-up tonight. Who the heck is Vigilante? Seems like it's his only friend. Just got the scoop on a big heroin shipment coming in tonight. Let's go down there. Don't be saying this shit, my friend. Yeah, what the? <laughs> oh. Hey, where you are, Smith? Ooh. Oh, those are the guys from the movie. Fuck. Fuck. I knew 
seems fucking too good to be true. Why'd you come back home, moron? We need you to do contract work. Kill people. Bad people. Whom we call butterflies. <sighs> what if I say no? Back to prison you go. Still have that bomb in your head to track you with, and if that fails, we'll blow you the hell up. Wait, he still has it? Wait, what the? Wait, why did he think that he was going scot-free? We'll meet you for dinner tonight. This man is an idiot. Did he not realize he still had the bomb in his head and the tracker as well, too? I don't know why I thought they got rid of it at the end. I'll be there. I just gotta swim by my dad's and get Eagly. Who's Eagly? Don't you do your research? He's my sidekick. Sure, he's a eagle. That's totally legal to have. Why is it upside down? Ew, Jesus Christ, dude. The American flag is like a design choice. It's just ugly. I'm sorry. It's just like, it's not, it, that's so ugly. It's just not a, those colors just, I don't like those colors together. Like, you can do something more creative. If you want to do, like, if you want to be patriotic. They shot me. A building fell on me. You let somebody shoot you? Pathetic. Yeesh. Major daddy issues. Anyways, finish my thought. You could do more creative stuff if you want to do American flag stuff than just the American flag on literally everything. I just think it's just an ugly design choice. Eagle. Oh my gosh, it is just a giant eagle. What the heck? Who's a good boy? Yeah! How is that legal? I feel like that's super inhumane, by the way, just leaving an eagle in your garage. <laughs> He's just awesome, right? He's hugging me. He's hugging me. Oh, your dad does not care. I don't know what you did to piss off Amanda Waller, but she's definitely fucking me and John with this gig. Oh. Yeah, they're hella getting punished. They're in the abandoned building. Everybody in this show's got issues. From high noon to midnight, dude. Crazy. What the hell is that? God damn! Wow, okay. What the hell? What the actual hell? I mean, that's sick. That is psychotic. I didn't make these things while you were in prison. These are all from before. I never gave you a second thought while you were in there. I feel like that's a lie. Well, what the fuck? If you can do some good with it, maybe take out a couple of commies, some blacks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And his dad must be a Nazi, right? He has to be a Nazi. <laughs> Did this dipshit really show up in full cosplay mode? I don't think he has any other clothes. He's not fucking us. Is that an eagle in his back seat? <laughs> She's fucking us. <laughs> Yeah, they're getting hella punished. She wants them to fail and die. Why is that bus boy staring at you? He has mental issues. You don't. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, peacemaker's back, baby. Ooh, Sparky. the hell? <laughs> is this vigilant vigilante? It's friendly. Oh yeah. I love animals. I wouldn't. I, eagles can be vicious. Hey, bud. Oh! Uh, married. Yeah. That's cool. I'm into old fashioned stuff too, you know, homo figurines and capital punishment. Totally normal. All normal things. Oh, that's my thing. That and having a big dick. Yep, information I had no need for. Yeah. As a junior high, they called me Chimp Arm. Mm -hmm. Too much information, my man. Too it, TMI. I like their dynamic. They're definitely gonna have like a really good, like, partner dynamic. I like it a lot. The Goldilocks. Ew. Can I ask you a question? Ew. Keep your hands to yourself. I had a cure rotting fish breath. Sure. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Ew. What was that supposed to do something? It's a coincidence, right? Oh, you played Oh, yeah. Right? You played on Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uncanny, right? She does not believe you, buddy. It's your first name. Why? It's curious. I mean, are you really trying to hit on her? She does not like you. you about work. Hold on. Okay. The fuck did you say to my friend, you ugly fucking? Cunt? Oh. God damn! Look at her. Oh. You ugly fucking. Wife. God. Ah, get ah. Ooh.
Oh my gosh. He's now in love, right? <laughs> I mean, that was impressive though. Who wouldn't? I clocked you driving by and then making a U-turn to follow me in here. Oh, she saw that. Ew. Just because you're handsome doesn't mean you're not a piece of shit murderer. Think I'm handsome? Oh my god, please fuck off. That's all he took from what she's... I haven't been with anyone. I haven't been with any woman in a long time. That's that's made it so much worse. General general contact. No touching about That's here. so weird, dude. Dude, that's so weird. So that's what a prostitute's for, my man. Cool, and I'm just trying to fucking have a beer, but whether it's those douchebags or you, I guess that's just something that I can't have in my life. He that way that come that way they said that was sounded so creepy. Like I've been in prison for four years, so I just want some you know I need some general general contact. Barbie's ambitious. Watch out for her. Shouldn't we just loop them in on the whole plan? No. What? You have my eyes and ears, Leota, while you're there. Are they related in some way? I'm not like these people. Night, baby girl. Night, mom. Ah, knew it. She's talking way too friendly with her. Oh, so of course. So there's something else that she's trying to do then. Now I'm wondering what the whole point of this mission was. Clearly it's not some superhero task force to do good, like clearly there's something else. She sat there smoking on my cigarette. His tidy whities scare me. Hey, I gotta thank you for tonight. I was having a crazy fucked up day, but when I was in your pussy back there- Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Jesus. Chris, there's something more for you out there. Jog brain, dude. Other than all this rancid sh she is not there anymore. I don't know where she went, but that is I'm kinda kinda freaking me out. Ew dude. So I went to see really? Uh That girl's scaring me. That girl is sussing me out. Ooh yeah, I knew it. Ew, your mouth is on it. Duh. Your mouth is why is it on it? Also, you're about to get stabbed. Oh! Oof! Oof! Who is that? Why is she stabbing him? Oh! He is not human. Come on, Pacemaker. You, you can do better than that. Oh my, Jesus. Oh, that's all you got, Peacemaker? I'm getting your butt kicked. Why? Uh, why? Activate Sonic Boom! Ah! Oh, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a psychotic helmet. Oh my gosh. I, you know, he shouldn't have that. <laughs> All right, that was a wild first episode. I like it. It's definitely like, I it can tell it's super, super edgy, super, pff no filter buck wild but it, it's fun it's like it's gonna be like a really fun show um that helmet why he's why you why did he give him that helmet i don't think he should have that helmet i don't think peacemaker should have that helmet um i'm interested into seeing what the whole plot really is like the whole plan clearly there's an overarching plan also she is amanda's daughter which uh i'm not really surprised because it seemed like she's talking to her very like personal is very like personal and kind of like affectionate towards her than she is towards anybody else. So it's really interesting to see how the story is going to develop, the plot, what's gonna happen with the characters, and yeah, I wonder what Amanda's whole plan is. So I'm very curious about that and why she's keeping tabs on him, tabs on all of them, and Peacemaker as well too. So I'm very curious, but 
Anyways, yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what your thoughts and comments are in the description down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Turn on notifications on Friday and upload a new video. Follow me on my socials to see more of my face. And that's gonna be today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye!